Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Hunger Games plugin. Now this is a fantastic survival games mini game which is really easy to set up, has a ton of cool features and is overall fantastic. So the first thing you want to do is obviously either create a map or just download one like I have. Make sure it's decorated with loads of chests which will automatically fill up with random items every single game. So once you've done that we can go ahead and get into the setup process. So the first thing that we need is a wand. So if you do 4 slash HG wands, that is going to give you the Hunger Games wand where we can select the bounds of our arena. Now I've set two locations using warps, so click the bottom left location of your arena as you can see down here, and now we need to go to the other corner and select the top corner. So I've just teleported up here, I'm going to right click it, and that has set a cuboid which contains our arena. Once we've done that, we can do forward slash hg create. We're going to call it something, so let's call it server miner. We'll set the min and max players to two and four. Then how many seconds do we want to count down once there are only two players left uh, before the game ends? And then the cost is going to be zero. Once you've done that, we are almost done. So we need to set a few spawns. Obviously, if you set four players max, we need to set four spawns. So go into your starting area and do 4 slash hg add spawn, that will set the first one and then we're going to repeat it three more times, so just dot these about, um, doesn't really matter where. We are going to set the final one, as you can see it in chat it counts down, this is the last one we need. And then we need to set the lobby wall. So this is what it looks like up here, you need three different signs and you need to put them horizontally, so one, two, three. Then you need to actually look at the far left one. Then you can do the command for slash hg set lobby wall for the arena server miner. Hit enter and it will set them automatically. They look really cool. It shows how many is alive and whether the game's ready or waiting. And then once you've done that, you can do a debug and just make sure your arena is ready to run. And yes, it is. So if we right click to join, you can see it teleports us into the arena on one of the spawn points we set. And if we do HG leaves, that will obviously kick us out of the game. We can do HG help to see all of the different commands that we have. Um, and as you can see, this plugin is really straightforward, very simple to set up, and very, very quick as well. So we can do HG wand again to disable that, as we do not need it anymore. And then all we need to do now is get my other account on, and we can play a game. So I've got my other account on. The game status says waiting. There's one out of four in the game. So if I right click to join, it will put us into the arena. Now we have the choice to choose a kit. So if we do HG kit and then Bowman, for example, it will give us the Bowman kit. And you can see it comes with various different effects and armor and items. Now the game is going to start in 25 seconds. It's counting down in chat. We can see my other account over there in his spawn point and we can't actually do anything. It blocks us from using items or breaking blocks or anything. And there's a nice scoreboard on the right as well. So the game's going to start in 5 seconds, and then once it does start, there's going to be a 25 second period where you cannot take damage or hurt anyone. So this gives you time to kind of run away, loot a little bit. Um, and as you can see, all of these chests contain random items, everything you, that you would expect in a hun Hunger Games plugin. And then all we need to do is wait for the 25 seconds to finish, and then we will be able to win the game by killing our opponent. So there we go, free roam is over, PvP is now enabled, I can now shoot my opponent, um, and let's see if there's actually a sword in here that will make things quicker. And there we go, so you can see that I have won the game, it shows up in chat, I actually got $500 for winning the game, um, and I have won the arena server miner. So that's how it works, obviously, you know, if you had loads of players it would be a lot of fun and it would take longer. Um, but that is just a quick example of the type of arena you can create with this plugin. Really fantastic, really easy to set up. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there are loads of YML files. Now the main one we want to edit is the config.yml. So in here is going to be a ton of different settings that we can edit. So whether you want to spawn mobs, yes or no. Uh, how long the frame roam period is. Uh, the min and max chest count for the content within the chest. Uh, do you want to be teleported at the end, etc. If we scroll all the way down, you can see we've got the reward, the $500 that I won for winning. Do you want a command to be performed? And then if we scroll down even more, we can get down to the kit section. Now this is Kit Bowman, the one we use. And you can see all of the items, we've got the potion effects, and then the armor as well, and whether you need permission to use it or not. 
So what you can do is just copy and paste any of these, rename it, and then just create more kits for players to choose from. Maybe admins or donators get um, special kits or whatever. Then if we go into the items.yml, this is going to contain all the different items that will spawn in the chest. So we can see various different weapons, food, armor, stuff like that. So obviously you could change this, you could add items, you could take away items, change the amount. Um, but overall, pretty straightforward and all the stuff that you would expect in a Hunger Games plugin. And if we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.16. I'm using the latest version of Minecraft and it works great. Uh, you can see it's updated at the end of November. And you can see it's got tons of features. We've got a wiki here if you need any help. And then if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.